Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rami G TV. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Rami G, and I read scary stories on the internet so you don't have to. Today, I'm going to be going back to the roots of my channel. I'm going to be talking about creepy pastas. So sit back, enjoy. So if you like this type of content on YouTube, please give me a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. These are 17 of the creepy pastas out there. Let me know in the comments below if you want more or if you want me to go into detail with any of them. So without further ado guys, roll that intro. Number 17. The Expressionless. In this creepypasta classic, a woman wearing a white gown that is covered in blood slumped into a hospital in 1972. According to the nurse who is recounting this event, she said this woman had an appearance of a mannequin, but was very much human-like in her movements and mannerisms. After throwing a kitten she had clamped in her jaw on the ground, doctors and nurses rushed the woman into the hospital room for evaluation. Little does the hospital staff know that they have no idea who, or rather what, they're dealing with. Number 16. Doors. The tale follows a family with a young male narrator who talks about their daily lives together. One night, the household is attacked by a mysterious figure, and our interpret protagonist tries to chase it off. Given any more of the plot away will ruin the surprise, but this story proves that bravery can be a very effective tool when used to properly horrify and amaze. Number 15, No End House. Haunted houses are the center of many famous scary narratives and surviving the night in one earned teenagers instant respect. Still, is the potential trauma and death worth the admiration of people who you will like never see after graduation? This creepypasta answers with a firm and decisive no. No End House promises $500 to whomever survives a trip through the nine rooms of torture, a challenge that our narrator David rapidly accepts. The rooms begin to grow increasingly sinister and evil, pushing the limits of David's psyche and humanity. Are nine rooms really worth such a small monetary compensation that won't even pay for one's therapy session? The sci-fi series Channel Zero also covers this creepypasta in its second season, if you want to add something to your watch list. Number 14. Anna Petrova. This tale reminds us that it's best not to Google yourself, no matter how tempting it may be. Anna Petrova was one of the most promising figure skaters in the United States, until she discovered a sentient Wikipedia page about her. After trying to selfishly alter her fate by editing the page, her life spiraled out of control in the most unexpected ways until she was a friendless orphan, which isn't even the worst part. While the Wikipedia page doesn't actually exist, it's a harrowing tale about messing with the unknown forces of the internet. If you do check the story out, make sure you click on the image at the bottom of the email for an extra layer of creepy. Number 13, Persuaded. Zombies definitely have a place in creepypasta especially after having taken over the majority of the pop culture. However, in the spirit of keeping the readers on their toes, these zombies don't need frenzied bitings to increase their numbers, which elevates this tale above and beyond other zombie-inspired creepypastas. After a massive oil spill, all those touched by the substance begin to viciously attack other creatures, causing mass panic across the country. The nameless protagonist holds himself in his apartment, waiting for the screaming violent horde to come crashing through the door and tear him limb from limb. If only that had actually happened, instead of the too long day nightmare that really unfolds. Number 12, Onansi's Goat Man Story. Based on Native American legend, this creepypasta was originally found on 4chan's paranormal board 
where some of the best creepypastas can be found. The story follows a teenager who goes down to Alabama to be with his extended family. While he, his cousin, and their friends are camping in the woods, they see a strange figure, the goat man, jerking and spouting gibberish as it follows them. They spend the rest of the night in fear as the goat man slowly infiltrates the group, terrorizing the teens into a frenzied state of paranoia. This mix of pre-existing lore and new native is not rare for creepypastas, but it is the strength of the writing that really makes this particular story worth sharing. There are variations of the story, but most follow a similar formula where a group is stopped by the titular monster with different outcomes. Number 11. Psychosis Can you really trust what you see and feel? Is our life all a computer simulation? Do we live in the matrix? Are we all just people in someone else's dream that is bound to end? Is this the real life or is this just fantasy? Existentialism may not be the scariest of all philosophies, but psychosis shows that proving human existence beyond imminent fears and phobias is an inner battle that can never be won. John soon finds out he's been cut off from the rest of the world. His only communication with other people is through an electronic device. He quickly becomes paranoid and becomes convinced that everyone around him is lying, trying to get him to come outside so an unknown entity can get him. His logic tries to defy his gut feeling, but he falls further into the belief that something has gone horribly wrong outside, and it's coming for him next. Number 10. The Russian Sleep Experiment a staple of the best creepypasta list everywhere. The title of the story itself carries with it a sense of dread and horror. Shortly after World War II, five political prisoners are subject to an experiment in which they have to remain awake for 30 days in a tank filled with experimental gas. As with most science gone wrong stories, the test subjects began to lose their minds, among a number of other gruesome symptoms. The horror does not end when the experimenters try to save their subjects. Far from it. Just know that this story may not be appropriate for the squeamish who dislike gore, as the narrative goes through graphic detail about the physical state of the patients. Thankfully there are no pictures, or this would be ultimate nightmare fuel. Number 9. Smile Dog if there's any story on this list that best captures the message, be careful what you wish for. Smile Dog is it. This creepypasta deals with an image posted on an old bulletin board system back in 1992 called Smile JPG. Those who saw the image either disappeared or died. What he eventually learns is that some things, even simple pictures, are better left as mysteries than dealing with the horrifying truth. In case you're wondering, the story comes with an accompanying image, but you may not want to see it after you read the full story, though in the end, you might not have a choice. Number 8. Gateway of the Mind Ever wonder what would happen if you couldn't see, hear, smell, taste, or touch? Well, this creepypasta is here to put that theory to the test in what is honestly the most terrifying science experiment. The story centers around a group of scientists who wish to make contact with God, and they feel this would be possible by removing the body of all of its five senses. After performing a complex sensory surgery on the test subject, the poor person is completely disoriented and begins to hallucinate and hear people who have passed away. What happens at the end is extremely meta, but the grueling detail involving the pure mental torture the subject goes through is enough to absolutely creep anyone out. Number 7. Lavender Town Syndrome A classic video game creepypasta that hits a little too close to home for those who have grown up playing the original Pokemon Red and Blue during the late 90s. This creepypasta centers around the game Pokemon Green, which was only released in Japan in 1996. According to the legend, rates of illness and suicide in children in Japan between the ages of 7 and 12, a fever pitch. The common connection between all of them 
they all played Pokemon Green and had reached an area known as Lavender Town, whose theme music had extremely high pitches. After conducting studies on this phenomena that became known as Lavender Town Syndrome, scientists realized that there was a certain tone in the town music that only the ears of young children and teens could hear. This had essentially drove this demographic who played the video game to insanity, causing them to have headaches, ear issues, and die from suicide. While this sparked many theories and creepypastas surrounding Lavender Town and the original Pokemon games, this creepypasta is actually loosely based off of a real life incident involving a Pokemon episode that only aired in Japan in 1997. During the airing of the 38th episode of the original Pokemon television series titled Electric Soldier Porygon, a scene that made use of extreme flashing images gave hundreds of children epileptic seizures. Number 6. Ben Drowned Hacked video games are often found in creepypastas, but none is more infamous than Ben Drowned, the story of Matt, a college-aged boy who picked up a hacked cartridge of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask at a garage sale. As the boy plays, he captures the strange occurrences in the game and in real life until it ultimately culminates into a full haunting. The narrator and Ben's fate are left up to the reader's imagination, but the tale implies that a happy ending is not of the realm of the possibilities. This creepypasta is one of the few that integrate multiple types of media in the story. There is a text from the story itself, both a formal post version that went up on 4chan, forums in real life and a diary included in the final post, and videos of disturbing gameplays. The footage includes a warped soundtrack, terrifying glitches, and a creepy statue that is supposed to be Ben following the player around. While the story is clearly fictional, the level of dedication to create the eerie story makes it worth the read. Number 5. Robert the Doll Not for the faint of heart, Robert the Doll really exists. The myths surrounding him vary, especially since it became so popular on the internet. The doll was given to an artist, Robert Eugene Otto, in the late 1800s or early 1900s, by a servant working in his family's home. The doll, which he named after himself, then took on a life of its own and began to terrorize the family. Otto is said to have kept his doll into adulthood, and it subsequently tormented his late wife into insanity. When the doll was found by another family, the girl whom was given it to was terrified and refused to have it in her room. The doll is currently residing in the Fort East Mortello Museum in Key West, Florida. Visitors must ask Robert politely if they want to take his photo. If they mock him or take his photo without permission, Robert is said to lay a curse on them. Number 4. Candle Cove Everyone has a television show from their childhood that they fondly remember. Like those who nostalgically recall the adventures of Dora the Explorer, Mr. Rogers, and Sesame Street. Some adults rediscover their favorite shows from the 1970s, Candle Cove, on a television forum in this creepypasta. Slowly, their memories of the show get, grow darker and even more disturbing until one of the adults asks his mother about the true nature of the show. The forum format of the story adds a spooky realism to the tale, also making it easy to recreate and share on other boards. If you find this story particularly compelling, watch the first season of the sci-fi original series Channel Zero, which is based off of this creepypasta. Number 3. Jeff the Killer If you've never laid eyes on the infamous image of Jeff the Killer before, consider yourself lucky. The basic story concerns Jeff, a serial killer who hides in a closet and whispers, go to sleep to his victims before slaughtering everyone in the household. Even more disturbing than this MO is his appearance. His face is smooth and stark white, a huge grin and small lidless eyes. He is one of the most easily recognizable creepypastas. Number 2 the Rake This monster may not be as famous as his cousin, the Slenderman, but he is just as creepy. 
The rake is a humanoid creature that is completely pale, hairless, and has a thirst for human flesh. According to Know Your Meme, this creature was originally created on 4chan, where someone opened a make your own monster trend. The description that eventually became a part of the rake was no apparent mouth, pale skin, six feet tall when standing, but usually crouches and walks on all fours, no nose, no mouth, and many other disturbing physical features. Eventually this creature played a crucial role in many creepypastas. Most of these stories primarily involve documented encounters with a monster. Number one, Slenderman. Before this pale, faceless ghoul had his own movie and video games, he haunted the forums on the internet with his finely pressed suit and unnaturally long limbs. The Slenderman story is not a narrative one, but a look at this monster's history with humanity that it's tied into several other creepypastas. Technically, the Slenderman preys on children and those who become obsessed with its existence, though no one knows exactly what happens to the bodies since no one has ever escaped from an encounter with Slenderman. Suggested stories featuring the Slenderman include the Tall Man and the Marble Hornets. In the real world, this creepypasta figure became the key figure during an assault and subsequent criminal case in 2014, involving three 12-year-old girls from Wisconsin. They lured their friend into the woods during a game of hide-and-seek in a reported attempt to appease Slenderman. The duo stabbed their friend 19 times and left her for dead at the scene, but she managed to drag herself to the nearby road where a cyclist found her and she was immediately taken to the hospital where she recovered from her injuries. Soon after the attack, they arrested the two attackers and were tried for attempted second degree murder. In 2017, one of the attackers was sentenced to 25 years in a mental institution, while her accomplice was sentenced to 40 years in a mental institution in 2018. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed those 17 creepypastas. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you like the certain one and you want me to go into more detail, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video of it. Also, I have a Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So if you all need a break from this creepy, scary stuff, go and uh, join my Twitch and we'll have a fun time. It's not all dark and gloomy. Speaking of, I also have another channel called Rami G Gaming. It's on YouTube. If you're all interested in the lighter side of my content, please go to my other channel and like and subscribe. So... I can give you guys more content and I usually do VR, PC and console games so if you all enjoy that go check it out and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Until next time guys, sweet dreams.